In this video, I will take you on a thrilling journey as I recount three hair-raising real-life incidents that have left an indelible mark on my psyche. These gripping encounters will make you question the very notion of security and send shivers down your spine. From the dangers of online interactions to a chilling encounter with an intruder, and a late-night disturbance in a mysterious loft, these stories will remind us of the importance of staying vigilant in a world filled with unforeseen risks. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. Now, let's dive into these spine-tingling tales together. Picture this, I was just a curious kid, innocently chatting with strangers on the internet. Little did I know, one of them had intentions to hack into my webcam. That feeling of dread still lingers, and it's a constant reminder of the importance of staying safe online. When I was around 12 or 13 years old, there was a night that stands out vividly in my memory. My parents were away, and I found myself alone, staying up way past midnight on my desktop computer, eagerly awaiting their return. Although I had been repeatedly cautioned against talking to strangers on the internet, I couldn't resist engaging in conversations with some of the individuals on my MSN friends list. Strangely enough, about half of them were people I had never met before. Out of nowhere, one of my online friends began recounting precise details about my activities during the past few hours, what I had been eating, drinking, playing with, even mentioning when I had last gotten up. These were things I hadn't shared with anyone. Instantly, an overwhelming sense of dread gripped me, manifesting as a sickening feeling in the pit of my stomach. You see, my desktop was situated in front of a sizable window, and the realization hit me that this person, who was supposed to be in a different country than me, had somehow discovered my address and had been observing me through the window. As it turned out, this individual had managed to hack into my webcam. Despite being cautioned against leaving it plugged in when not in use, I had always left it connected. Consequently, he had been surreptitiously watching me whenever he pleased. Even now, after a decade has passed, I can't shake off the uneasiness that lingers. I've taken precautions by covering all the cameras on my devices with thick duct tape, a constant reminder of that unsettling incident. The second story took place in my new apartment. One evening, I found myself face to face with a relentless intruder. It was a night filled with panic and fear, but luckily, I made the right choices that saved my life. This experience will forever be etched in my memory as a harrowing ordeal that undoubtedly will keep you on the edge of your seat. Let's dive right into it. A few years ago, I had finally settled into my very first apartment, feeling a sense of joy and exhilaration as I embraced the new chapter of my life. The days passed by smoothly, and the nights were peaceful, until that fateful evening on a rainy Sunday. The sound of rain pounding against the windows created an eerie atmosphere, casting shadows that danced ominously across the walls. Little did I know, that the tranquility I had grown accustomed to would be shattered by an unimaginable horror that awaited me. The clock ticked closer to 8.30 p.m. when a distinct sound pierced the silence, a rattling doorknob, as if someone was attempting to unlock it. My heart skipped a beat, hoping it was my boyfriend returning early from work. Yet, a sudden realization dampened my anticipation, it was far too early, and he wasn't due until 10.30 p.m. Curiosity mingled with growing unease as I peered through the kitchen window, scanning for familiar vehicles. To my dismay, neither his car nor any known ones were parked outside. Panic began to well up inside me, tightening its grip with each passing moment. The relentless twisting of the doorknob persisted for a few more agonizing seconds before finally ceasing. However, my rest pie was short-lived. For a few minutes later, an eerie metallic scraping sound echoed through the apartment. It was the chilling presence of a foreign object, wedged with intent between the door and its frame, as if someone was desperately attempting to gain entry. The realization struck me like a bolt of lightning, and a surge of terror engulfed me. Instinctively, I sought refuge in the bathroom, 
clutching a knife tightly in my trembling hand as I dialed 911 for help. For what felt like an eternity, the intruder persistently pried and prodded at the door, their malicious efforts lasting about three harrowing minutes. Finally, the sound ceased, granting a fleeting semblance of relief. Shortly thereafter, the police arrived, meticulously scouring the vicinity for any signs of danger. Their investigation unraveled a disturbing truth, a disoriented elderly man was found roaming with a knife and a crowbar. It turned out he had once occupied this very apartment, haunted by delusions that we had stolen his belongings during our move. Gratitude overwhelmed me as I realized how fortunate I was to have refrained from opening the door to an unfamiliar presence. Nevertheless, the remnants of that night still linger in my psyche, causing my heart to skip a beat whenever an unexpected knock resonates through my door. The final story took place in the depths of a long and sleepless night. It was a tale that began with fear and confusion, leaving me on edge and questioning the boundaries of reality. Residing in my loft nestled among the vibrant city streets, I had always harbored a lingering concern about unexpected intrusions from the neighboring bars. Little did I know that on a particular October night, my fears would become a disconcerting reality. My loft was discreetly tucked away amidst the bustling downtown area. Its entrance, an inconspicuous door on the street, often went unnoticed among the various businesses. Opening that door revealed a staircase leading to the three apartments above. The thought of intoxicated patrons from the nearby bars mistakenly stumbling into my building always troubled me. And on that fateful October night, my worst fears materialized. It was around 3 a.m., a time when most people are fast asleep on a work night. However, I found myself abruptly awakened by the sound of two voices coming from my living room. Strangely, neither voice belonged to my friends, who were the only ones with spare keys to my place. I strained my ears and heard an eerie melody, akin to a haunting violin. Realizing that two intruders, likely inebriated, had somehow gained access to my apartment, I felt a wave of panic and confusion. What were they doing here? Were they watching a late night movie or engaging in some other perplexing activity? I retreated, seeking refuge and hiding, desperately hoping that the disturbance would quickly dissipate. After what felt like an agonizingly long time, the sounds abruptly ceased, leaving me with a deep sense of unease. I listened intently but heard no footsteps, leading me to believe that the trespassers had become aware of my presence. Summoning my courage, I cautiously retrieved a weapon that I kept close by and stealthily made my way to the living room. To my astonishment, the room was engulfed in impenetrable darkness, devoid of any signs of life. All the electrical appliances were switched off. As the mystery unraveled, I discovered that my neighbor, who owned a film studio beneath my loft, had been engrossed in an all-night editing session for his entry in the annual Halloween horror film contest he hosted. In his exhausted state, he had inadvertently connected his audio to my sound bar instead of his own. Thus, at the ungodly hour of 3 a.m., he unknowingly flooded my pitch-black apartment with the spine-chilling audio from his horror film, amplifying the volume to a disconcerting level. The incident left me shaken, realizing the vulnerability of my living situation. Thank you for joining me on this journey through these spine-tingling tales. Each story has reminded us of the importance of being aware of our surroundings and the potential risks that exist in our lives. From the chilling encounter with a webcam hacker to the harrowing ordeal of facing an intruder and the eerie late-night disturbance in the loft, I hope they have sent shivers down your spine and kept you captivated until the end. If you enjoyed these spine-tingling stories, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more captivating content. Until then, stay tuned for more thrilling adventures. Thank you, and farewell for now.